Oh, I knew this was going to come up. Best um, tips for hosting a party? Tips for hosting a good party. Have lots of food because food's always good. You're the partier. I'll leave that one to you. <laughs> okay, I have been to a total of... Two? No, one. The other one was one. a gathering of six people. <laughs> invite the amount of people that are going to fit in your house because no one's going to have a good time if you've invited 80 people but you have a tiny house. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Amen. Oh, God. Don't do it at all. It's Never. too much stress. Um, you can't relax, you're constantly cleaning up after people, and it's just not worth it. Okay, well there are some essential things that you need. Definitely food, um, little snacks, chips, lollies, they're always good, just on the side. Have some music so that there's an atmosphere, and don't just keep, you, you yourself have to be in the right frame of mind, and so Think straight and make sensible decisions, you know, and just don't let it get out of control. My best tip for hosting a good party is making sure that it's just people you like and get along with each other. Because if you, because everyone has multiple different friend groups, if you invite people from all those friend groups, they might not mix and probably won't. And so you'll just sort of have awkward clicks at your party and it's just sort of awkward because you have to jump through them. I've never thrown a party, ever. I know you've hosted a couple. I've never done it because I, I see what happens to those people and it's not a fun night and it's stressful so I would rather just wait until someone else throws a party and just go to You're going to be that guy. And having a good supply of bread to sober people up, that's a good one. And if there will be drinks, make sure there are lots of nibbles and things like breadsticks or bread and carbs, lots of carbs. <laughs> and warn your neighbours because otherwise there might be some yeah, you want to keep your neighbours happy and so warn them, bake them some cookies and then everything should be good. Like it's cool if you want to have a great time, do that, but just make sure there's someone, like maybe a fr one of your friends, who's just keeping an eye on things, making sure like no one vomits on the curtains and making sure people are um, drinking responsibly because otherwise the next day is just not going to be a good time for anyone trying to clean up. You don't want lots of people there that are sort of not very close in your friend circle and can sort of snowball things out of control and make it a, yeah. not a very nice environment. I would never host a party. As is, like, my 18th is coming up in about a month. And is I, it? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Supposed to be best well, friends. Probably should have known that. Um, and also having a good sound system. That's the most important part, really. A good sound system. Don't invite people with a reputation for bad parties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> invite people that you trust to not make an absolute tip of your house. Mm, yeah, totally. I'm, I'm not going to do a massive party at my house because it's not worth it. I actually want to have fun. If you wanted to host it, maybe. No, That'd I'm not cool. hosting another party <laughs> again. That's not happening. All right. You always hear stories about people's houses getting completely ruined and graffiti everywhere and stuff. And I just think people must regret these things in the morning. And so there's not really a point in it. Have fun, but just don't go over the top because you'll regret it. Well, both my parties have been outdoors. So sort of like that definitely helps, eh? It helps, but when it's so windy that an hour before the party, the marquee starts to lift off the ground and start to leave the venue, you start to get a wee bit worried. <laughs>